Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is my July wrap up. So today I'm going to show you guys what books I read in July. I know this video is a day late. I was going to film it yesterday, but I didn't have time yesterday. There was too much going on. So I'm going to show you guys what I read in July and what I rated them and what my thoughts were. The first one I read was Holding the Dream by Nora Roberts. Um, this one I gave it a one star on Goodreads, Storygraph, Instagram, Blogspot, and Facebook because it was just really slow and boring throughout the entire book. Um, it was just about this um, woman and um, just a bunch of stuff. Um, basically dealing with her childhood. She felt like her childhood was um, stolen from her and all that. So the whole time she was like complaining about that, um, which really bothered me. I don't like authors who write books where the characters complain about other characters or they complain about something in their life. Like when we live our life, we make our life what it is, okay? So we only have ourselves to blame if we go through stuff like you need you have to change your life in order to make it better so um I didn't like this one this one I'll be donating to the used bookstore near me or to my library's free um little li my library's um little library that they just set up a couple weeks ago so um, the next one that I read that I really loved, which was a five-star read for me, was The Spanish Daughter by Lorena Hughes. This one was about a child in Spain whose passion was to be a chocolatier. So she goes to Ecuador to do that. And then um, it's during World War I, and her and her husband go across the Atlantic Ocean, but soon it becomes clear that someone is angry at the woman who is claiming their plantation. So it just tells about that story and what they go through with that. I love this one because I'd never read a book set in Ecuador before and about a chocolatier, I'd never read it. I found it very interesting. So that's why I rated this a five star. It's a historical fiction. So if you like historical fiction, I definitely recommend this one for you to read. Next one I read that I gave four stars because I wasn't crazy about it was Eleanor by Shannon McNear. This one was set in 1587 when um, this woman sailed from England heavy with her first child but full of hope. So it basically tells about her journey um, traveling to England or from England to the New World which is America now where I live. And um, it just tells about that. It was okay, but it was a lot of back and forth with the storyline. And I felt like the author didn't know what she was writing because a lot of it was being repeated. So that's mainly why I rated this a four star. The middle of it got better, but if the beginning had been the same way that the middle part of the book was, then I would have rated it a five star read. The next one that I I read was Angel's Peak by Robin Carr. This was a five star for me. It's book nine in the Virgin River series. I'm really falling in love with this series. Um, once I get done reading the series, I do want to watch the show. Um, but this one was basically about a man who settled down in spite of himself. He's not cocky, a cocky young pilot anymore. But the girl he fell in love with left him years ago. And then they they meet again um, on the island. And they try to rekindle things. But she's very... What's the word I want to say? Very um, conscientious or cautious about that. So it basically tells about that. But this one was really enjoyable. I'd read it at five stars. So if you like this series... If you like this author, if you like contemporary romance, this is definitely a book you should read. Next one I read, which is which three stars, was 
The Devil's Half Acre by Kristen Green. This was okay till I got to chapter 10, the last chapter. And then it fell flat for me because it was basically talking about um, the Civil War back then and about slavery and all that. And they actually, the author, for some reason, was pointing fingers at certain race for that when it wasn't all of that race's fault. Um, but it was very interesting to read about this. Um, I would have liked it more if the author had changed how she wrote chapter 10. But other than that, it was okay. I rated it three stars because the last chapter really upset me. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to get into any fights with anybody about it. So, um, but if you, if this is the kind of book you like, then, you know, I definitely recommend it. If you want to explore how slavery began and where we are now, that's totally up to you. Next one I read was Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I really love this book. Um, I rated it 4.5 stars though because when I got to the middle part of the book, the characters were like arguing with each other and then it was the plot line was all over the place. Um, it, it got me confused. Um, I didn't know, you know, what part I was reading all that. That's how crazy it was. So, um, it was okay, but I would not say that it's just like an Agatha Christie book, like what it says on the back of the book, because it's not. Um, the concept is, but the other stuff, it completely isn't, because when I got to the middle part, I kind of started to get bored with it, um, but I did push through and finish it. I gave it four star, 4.5 because of the craziness in the middle of the book, so... But I will be reading more Alice Feeney books in the future. The next one I read, which I don't have a copy of, was an audiobook called The Rest of the Story by Sarah Dozen. It was an audio, I had, I landed on audiobook for Bookopoly in July. So I had to read an audiobook. So I picked that one. I love Sarah Dozen. She's one of my favorite young adult authors. I rated it five stars. I could really connect with the story with the daughter and the mother relationship. I could really connect with that. And I think that's why I like the book so much. So, and then my next one was America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Camoni. This one, I rated five stars. I really enjoyed it. I loved learning about Thomas Jefferson's life and times. And I was just shocked what, um, what he went through um, and what he did back then. But I really loved this one. My next two were Until Leaves Fall in Paris and Rich and Pretty, which I, re I rated this one five stars. I really enjoyed it. It was set during World War I um, in the 1940s about a ballerina who decides to own a bookstore over there in Paris, and I just really enjoyed the story. Um, I won't give too much away because it's hard not to, but that's what I enjoyed about it. The last one I read, which I rated a one-star read, was Rich and Pretty by Roman Alam. I rated it one star because the characters were finding fault with each other and arguing and not everything, and that really bothered me. So, I won't be reading this author again, I don't think. That's it for my July wrap-up. I hope you guys have, are having a good August, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!